everyone, it's Brene with Delaney Jane Cards and today I have another video for you on the Joy Claire Designs channel. Today I'm using a set called Blessed and Grateful and I have printed the pumpkin image here and colored it with my Copics off screen and now since I printed them with my laser printer I am going to foil them. I like to use scotch removable um, tape to kind of secure my foil and then I'm just using a piece of copy paper. I'm going to run this through my laminator three times, face up, turn it over, turn it back over. I just find I get the best transfer. And then I'm going to use this die here. It's a background die. It's got a bunch of pumpkins on it. And I'm going to run a piece of kind of primitive cardstock through my die cut machine. I thought it was the most perfect background for these pumpkins. And then um, I needed to back the pumpkins, so I'm using a piece of this um, aqua blue Rhenia foil, and I am just adhering this with some liquid glue. It's not quite as wide as the background die, but there's a frame all the way around, so I will be able to kind of hide the edges and center that so that really pretty aqua color will shine through. Now those pumpkins that I colored, they're a little bit different color. One is aqua and one is kind of a cream color. Um, aqua or teal pumpkins are a, a thing here in the United States. Uh, they are for the um, teal pumpkin project and um, it just shows if you put that out on your porch or um, by your door when kids go trick-or-treating it shows that you have other things in your home besides um, candy at the door um, so maybe there are kids that have sensory issues or they have food allergies things like that they know that um, that is a safe home where they can get something other than food at trick-or-treating so here I'm just securing that um, panel in the back with some tape just to make sure that it was secured well, really well. Uh, that liquid glue will hold it and um, it will give me a good adhesion, but I just wanted to make sure. So here are my cooled um, images after I ran them through and let them cool. Uh, and it, when I pulled it off, you can see that I um, it foils the tape when I put it through. But I think that this copper foil added so much um, and this is the copper foil by deco foil I thought it was perfect with this aqua and I just I thought it was absolutely perfect so I um, trimmed out the sentiment with a spellbinders rectangle die it has this weird like notch on the corners it's one of my oldest dies I don't know exactly what the actual name of it is and then I put uh, foam tape on the back of everything here and I'm gonna pop this up on my panel kind of have it in the lower corner here. Uh, I just thought that it looked better in that corner. And now I'm going to add just a few sequins. Um, and they're a mix from um, uh, my stash. It's some orange and some kind of copper colors and some aqua colors to match what I have going on here. I just thought uh, that this was a really beautiful color combination. The orange copper and aqua with that um, not quite white it's a very primitive off-white background but then to have my images and the sentiment on white I just felt like it it looked good it's got so much sparkle and shine it's really hard to see completely on camera um, to avoid any liquid glue leaving any marks behind this panel I did use my ATG that is flat tape adhesive uh, and adhered this to my card base it is really hard to see just how stunning this is in my video, um, but foiling any digital image always adds so much. And, you know, if you run them through your laser printer, you can, you know, foil anything with a cheap laminator. You don't need anything super special. So here it is. I think it turned out so pretty. I absolutely appreciate you stopping by the Joy Claire Designs channel today and checking out my video. And I will leave the link to this stamp set below. It is so pretty. I will be using it for the remainder of the month. And I am so excited because it is fall and I am ready for fall. So here's a few close-ups of my image and uh, my card. And I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. And as I always say, give cards generously. Bye.